I remember pushing one. Hey, okay, where are we at, bro? In Raleigh, North Carolina. Where are you from? I'm from, I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina. You're heading back there? Yeah. Taking the old Greyhound, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so you're a military man. Yes. I gave you props already. Thank you, sir, for your service. Yeah. Two years? Four years? Four years? Four. Four. Good for you. You're going to college now, and et cetera, et cetera. Doing well. All right, so anyways, uh, what makes America great? Uh, I don't know when it was great in the first place, honestly. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead, this is you, man. Whatever you say is fine. You know, like, uh, how I was telling you everywhere else, man, like, I don't know, it's just, I can't really speak for everybody else. I just can speak for, like, what I see, you know? That's yeah. all it's about. That's yeah, what it's know, about. Like, from, you know, like, being in Fayetteville, I told you I came from a project myself, so, like, all I ever seen in my life was just repetitive, like, drugs, violence, you know, all that stuff, you know, but I done, you know, experience the military and other forms of life so i know it's greater out there you know but so what makes america great uh the idea i feel like what can make america great the ideal yeah let's just say that they gotta fill their own plate you know what i'm saying and just spread the wealth you know what i'm saying instead of just everybody looking out for self yeah, you know what i'm saying so i just feel like if our government wasn't so secretive and like we just had access to a little bit more information which will never happen but i feel like that would probably make I would. What makes America great? And you're, you're not sure? What would make it greater? Lots of things. All right, well I'm gonna ask, gonna get back, okay? All right. All right, thank you. And you start, you got a cold up, you know, and you start, then you start, snot comes out of you, you start snotting. That's a symptom that you're, you got a cold, right? Uber is a symptom, is a symptom of failed fucking government. Was somebody just speaking to you about this? Was somebody just speaking to you about this two seconds ago? Yeah, he really was. It's crazy. What? what about the Uber being? A... No, he was like, no the, symptoms. Symptoms like about oh. like we treat the symptoms. Society. Like you yeah. treat the symptoms, nobody ever wants to like cure the actual problem. It's crazy. No, it, it is because Mass transportation is the answer. No, but you see, no, but there's Uber. There, there, there's laws that govern what attack you. Uber, they, they, they. It really, I, I got to really. It's really Lyft that really started it. Because yeah, I was Lyft, gonna mention that. They, they, Uber started out with legal limo drivers, but they saw a lift out there, people in their cars, which is against, you know, in violation of the, of what the insurance requires. That's correct. And the guy from Uber said, "Well, if they do it, we'll do it." And he just just made said, "Well, it's it's legal, and go ahead and do it. We'll pay your bills." And he kept pushing the envelope, and nobody did anything about it. And and, and 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 all these people, they you see, we got an app too, but because they had they had the app, they said, oh, it's so nice, it's the app, they got the technology. It's not rocket science. The app, I mean, with you got to have a few parts, you got to have a fleet to have an app. But you know, again. they were the first ones to have an app. Yeah, they started using them before taxis did, for the most part. But we had an app even way back in 13, 12 probably before I came. I don't know. I guess it had. But um, what's your name? Jeff. Jeff, I'm Dan. Um, I this is Dante. Dante. So what? Are you Jewish? Yeah. No. Oh, cool. How many times you pray a day? Three. Yeah, my faith has a um, prayer once a day. You're Baha'i. I thought it was Baha'i. Correct. I don't know. I don't know if you're driving or something. It's Baha'i. Well, you know they're. Uh... Hey, I'll catch up to you later. Hey, uh, let me give you my contacts. Yeah, but you know, that was, I grew up with that. You did grow up with it, so you're probably around yeah. my age. Oh, yeah. so, no, but, but it would start again. You remember if, hiding if under the desk? Really remember way. hiding the, under the desk? Yeah, it's because if it ever really happens, 
there's nothing that ever really happens. There's nothing really to do except kiss your ass goodbye. That was, kiss your cats. Put your head between it. Put your head between your legs and kiss your ass. All, all life is going to die, and it's and really, it'd be kind of sorry, sad for the animals, because we fucking humans are so stupid. We want to destroy the fucking world because we're fighting among other fucking cats and dogs. Like, what, the fuck what are y'all stupid at? Y'all call yourself smart. <laughs> what the top of the food chain, right? <laughs> you know, look at you all. <laughs> the whole, the whole, the whole. But you know, I was just talking to a young man. We talked for about an hour. He's a, a serviceman. He served his country, our country. Um, Cab driver I, from I, America. I, I, I mean, that, that, that's interesting because I never thought about it that way. I think, I think about See, it. you never Trump, thought about Trump, it. No, 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 but Trump came around, and I'm a Trump supporter. Okay. And I'm, I'm always thinking of, you know, make America because that's his slogan. And... He's doing a lot of positive things in my opinion, you know, and, and but I never thought of what makes America great, you know, I don't, you know. And he never said when America was great. Huh? My caveat with him is he never said when America was great. Well, look. Well, well he never, I mean, has he ever? I, I don't keep up on the news. Salesman. So, regardless, you know, you got to have the positive smile on your face. Is, you know, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. It, it doesn't matter because we've always had problems. I, I see your, I see where you're, where you're going, and it's true. There's always nothing, it, and, and and people have a tendency to always reminisce about the past. And if you look back at the past, it may, maybe it may not have been that road. But the idea is, well, definitely, we were on a fucking path of destruction, with, and and to change course, and that's. A, that's the idea, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's the idea of making America. And you're right. That when was it ever great? Who knows? It was great before the white man was here. Because <laughs> that's I used to ask that question. And I figured it was great before the white man. Because I read things how. And the Indians have problems. I'm sure the Indians have problems too. This tribe was messing with them, and you know, yeah, but they intermarried. You know what they did is they intermarried. So if they went to war, you'd actually be fighting with your cousins. And they did a thing in the battle. They cut off your ponytail. Now they could have slit your throat, right? But they cut off your hair. So you go back, you're, <laughs> you know, you come back without your locks, you know. Uh, Not locks like that. I like them locks. <laughs> well, they kill people too. But it's just something. What would make America greater? What would make America greater? Top yeah, notch. Yeah. Getting rid of Uber. Hmm? Getting rid of Uber. <laughs> for come. real. So Come many on. People, no, for How about real. Facebook? Somebody said Facebook. <laughs> for real. No, for real, because because Uber, because then there's a whole industry has been destroyed. The only person benefiting from Uber is You still have to buy medallions? No. Not I like New York City. Mean, well, this this is never been a medallion town. In New, New York's got the medallion thing, but the medallions are but um you know it 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 doesn't benefit the only person that benefits is the people riding. Right. And so, so they support it. They nationwide, support it. Nationwide, worldwide, wherever they live, let it exist. Many countries said no. London said, fuck out of here. You know, this is crazy. You don't have insurance. You just, anybody, no, you can't do it. They do have a good, you know, I've seen. It's kind of like the licensing down, down here for electrical. Yeah, I mean, I, I've seen, I've talked to one Uber driver, and, you know, they got in, you know, it, it is nice. They're, 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 they're with a their platform, and they, you know, but we've got all this, from our company, bigger companies can have it. But the bottom line is, is Uber doesn't have, you know, the cars aren't, aren't com Yeah, but. And that's why the, but, the, but the big answer. Huh? The big answer. Use this set something that's specific to your industry. You feel me? Mm -hmm. no, so no, when no, I say no. greater, I, I, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I have to think about it. I don't. Know, I have to kind of think about what we make America do. Because, like I said, but I that's what we want, right? I, 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 I have to. You got kids. You got grandkids. Whatever. Well, you got nieces and nephews. You got something. You got religious people that you love. <laughs> I had a cat. Well, um, you got a mom. Yeah. Still, well, I mean, I mean. I mean Many people my age, their the parents aren't around, I know. But um, I kind of have to think about it a little bit. Uh, let me, uh, uh, what's, your, what's your email? Um, 
Anything else you want to say to, uh, you said you had a younger brother, you got the same thing to the younger oh, man. Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to my son, Seven Kelly. I love you more than anything on this planet. You're my favorite human being on the earth. To your dad. To my dad, I want to say I love you and I thank you for raising me the correct way. And, Are you yeah. shouting out to your dad? Yeah. Oh, I think you're shouting out to your son. I, I am shouting out to my son and I'm shouting out to my dad too. See so you're right in the middle. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, he laid down the blueprint for me and he taught me how to do everything the right way. And I'm going to do it that way. Because he learned the hard way. Exactly. So. Now, what about your brother? My brother, I got faith in you. You're going to turn it around. I love you too. You know what I'm saying? I see the potential in you. And you turn the thing around, man. You're doing, you're doing everything right. And I salute that, man. I love you. Nice. So, you, will you support the Silent American Scream? Yeah, I do. I support it. You're, you're going to contact me? Yes, I am. All right, what's your phone number? 910. I'm not going to get that out because a lot of people go oh, yeah. to you know, <laughs> East Indian. Cool beans, man. Like, it, honestly, that's the problem with America right now. Nobody sticks together anymore. So, sticking together. So, what's the first step to sticking together? Trust. Trust. Nobody trusts. I gave anybody. you trust. You came over here. You could have been method or. Man. Willing to look at my truck, see what I got, take it, right? Yeah, right? That's right? My, true. my little bit of shit that I got. Yeah. Which is very, it's, it's worth millions <laughs> of dollars to me because it's all I got, right? Yeah, like, <clears throat> I ain't got nothing neither, but I tell you what, if somebody tried to take it, we'd have a problem. <laughs>